here is the reason why, another reason why often I can't get videos up. There's my unlock button. And I can't unlock my phone. So this, sometimes I have troubles. Sometimes it works if I put a tissue around my finger. I don't know why. Uh, can't get it around my finger. It's frustrating because it locks before I can get it unlocked. No, today it's not working at all. So this is my wonderful Android phone. I can't get it to unlock. Well, anyway, that explains to you, hopefully, why sometimes I can't get a video up in time. I have some serious issues with this thing. Maybe I'm a zombie and I don't know it. Well, here's to explain why there was no video today. I'm sorry guys, but I have a friend came up from the city and we're going to have a little fire because uh, got a few fish here. We had a nice day and uh, we're going to have some dinner. So anyway, sorry that uh, we didn't have any video today, but I hope you understand. Well, this is the ultimate off-grid experiment. I just got the miniature air conditioner, 5000 BTU. Uh, it's very small. It only runs 515 watts. Estimated cost $41 a year which is actually pretty cheap for an air conditioner it will fit in my camper window and an exciting thing is if you can see the cover plate here it's 115 volts and 515 watts 4.8 amps so theoretically I should be able to run this on my solar panels so we'll see in a little bit here Well. got all power hugging devices off except for the lights overhead. Plug in the air conditioner. Inverter is on. Let me see. Low fan. Let me see, there's the cooling level. We put it on low fan at least first and see what happens. Alright, it definitely has a draw. I can hear things changing up. See the... Uh, oops. Right now there's 320 watts coming in. Let me see what the kilowatt meter is showing. I need a flashlight. Hold on. Right now there are 54 watts being used. So let me turn the air conditioner on and see what happens. Okay, that's just fan. I'm a little bit nervous. Put this on cool. It kicks on. I'm running an air conditioner on solar. This is exciting. We have definitely, let me refocus, 359 watts being drawn out of the inverter. And we have 370 watts being sucked out of the solar panels. It is overcast. The voltage is at 13.5. This is exciting. I really think I'm going to be able to do this. 368 watts. Coming off the solar panels. Voltage is holding. 370 watts. I actually have an air conditioner running in my camper. Okay, granted it's on the table. I have to mount this thing, but I think this is amazing. People, this is a breakthrough for off-gridders. If this works on 600 watts of solar panels, well, this could be a huge thing for people. I gotta install this. Well, there's a different view here. 
right now. That camper was hauled away yesterday. They came and took it. And uh, they're using it for the county fair, I guess. So for a couple weeks, I've got a nice view of the metal. I've got all these junk tires laying around, though, that they were using to hold down the tarps. But I can stack them off to the side. Good news for the chickens. I gotta clean this area up now, but it's just so hot right now. The birds are looking good. They're looking livelier than ever. Look at those two reds. They're friendly birds. They're good birds. Hey birds. Look how friendly they are. It's just their nature, I guess, the big ones. Really calm, mellow birds. I guess they're the Rhode Island Reds, if I got it right. But you'll notice the birds are livelier. And uh, it's the heat of the day. And every one of them is doing better. Because what I've done is I took one of those tarps that was from that camper who had just left laying there. And I simply draped it across here. Just threw it on there. And that makes a world of difference for the birds. So I'm going to put a top on here for them for the future and drape it down sides a little bit on each side that'll help them because they're really really perky now compared to before they're completely different now it's much livelier I want to install my air conditioner here I've got one of these frames left over from my rain collector system that I installed it's relatively sturdy and then I've got this piece of pallet. What I'm going to do is cut it off right here, all the way through, so I can use this as a base for my AC, and then build it up on a frame here so I can put it in the window. Because the camper, if you guys remember, has no frame, hardly has any wall right here at all. So the air conditioner is basically going to have to sit on something else to take the weight. I know a lot of people think uh, off the grid, have a lot of ideas of what off the grid really is. I can hear thunder again, but um, off the grid does not mean primitive living. It doesn't mean living in a teepee and sitting in the dirt. You can have your comforts, in my opinion, as long as you can uh, power it. And that's what I hope to do with the air conditioner because I'm so far behind on my projects due to this heat. It's just unbearable. And a lot of people say, well, 80, 90 degrees is nothing, but we have 80% humidity. Um, stuff is molding. It's just, actually, there was mold on the ground here the other day. Yeah, we trampled it over. There was mold growing on the ground, but we've been walking through here so heavily, it's all kicked up. Everything is molding. It's just, it's so humid. My camper smells rotten. The RV smells stale. Everything's stale. So, it's humid. you got to have air conditioning to do anything in this heat and this humidity. So that's what I'm about to do. Tim, this one is for you. I hope you can see that. That is stuffed full of bugs. That is from one overnight out here. That's what the little bug zapper you got me does in the night. And that is going to feed the birds and make them happy. That's a lot of bugs. It's just coated in there. And no, it's not blinking. It's just the camera makes it look like it's blinking. Sort of cool.
chance to try the saw I got out of that RV came with it it's one of the Off-grid solar air conditioning. I got it. This is from the outside. I still gotta seal these off here, keep the mosquitoes out and keep the cool air in. Well, that's blowing some serious hot air here. See my rigged up support platform, all pallet wood. This was one of my A-frames from the water, my first water collection system, and I just put a raised platform here to hold the air conditioner on let me take you inside starting out with 83 degrees inside and roughly about 80 percent humidity and we've got the AC running here I still got my blankets on the windows it was cold up until a few weeks ago and I've got some serious cold air blowing out of here it's very nice very very nice I've got 486, 487 watts, so it's pulling nearly the, the max watts out of there, out of the um, inverter here, and I mean max ratings for the air conditioner that is, it's supposed to be about 500 watts, and I've got here uh, 250 watts coming in, voltage is dropping, so I'll have to be sparing on my power. But, yeah, well now we're nearing 500 watts on the inverter. That's a lot of power. That's the most I've ever had pulling out of here. So let's see what this system can do now. Let's see what it can handle. My biggest concern of all is this wire is warm to the touch. I might have to go with bigger wires again later. From the inverter to the battery bank. Now that's warm. It's not hot. I'm definitely keeping an eye on that wire and make sure that doesn't overheat and cause me any trouble. Well, it's working. It's been an hour. And there's my old antique fan I've been using. Old twin blade window fan. There, it just kicked in. The compressor just kicked in. Let me check the watts. Just about 500 watts. And what's nice I'm pulling in almost 500 watts from the solar panels. I don't know if you can see that well. I've got 488 watts being used by the AC and 455 watts coming in. That's the bottom left number. 34 amps coming in. So I'm almost bringing in what I'm using. 487 watts going out. 
450 coming in. So this is working out. It's I'm losing some power, but it's overcast. It's partly sunny. And it's uh, clouds are going over. Sometimes it's, I'm bringing in as low as 200 watts. It's fluctuating, but this is definitely working. Now my wires are warm back there, so I have to keep an eye on that. But because the AC is cycling and only runs a couple minutes at a time, I think I'm going to be all right. Now my inverter, although it's not hot to touch, it is shutting down every once in a while and is, it, I don't know what it's doing, but every once in a while it shuts down and resets. So I hope that won't hurt the AC. But anyway, for now, I've got air conditioning. Now here's the funny thing. It's not cooling off in here, but I do have the AC on low. And I have it on low cool and on a lower range. But I'm not sweating and I'm not uncomfortable. So that's just proof that it's not the temperature that was destroying me, but rather the humidity. Because that air conditioner, within 30 minutes, I felt comfortable in here. Even the cat is showing signs of life. So definitely, it's, it's the humidity. And it, I don't care if it's 80 degrees in here as long as I'm not sweating, sitting still. This is perfect for me. No complaints at all. I've got here the biggest package I've ever received yet. That is in physical size anyway. This is going to be awkward to show since this is so huge. Let's see what we have here. Here's a waterproof mattress protector. Not sure yet who this is from. I guess we'll see in a little bit. It looks like guessing from the mattress protector that this would be some bedding. Let me see. Actually, I can seriously use that. Very nice. Yeah, there's a the fitted sheet. This is nice. That's got to be the pillowcase. Let me see. Yeah, there's the pillowcases. Wow. Nice set. <laughs> Somebody's watching my videos. A painting set. <laughs> no more trips to the dollar store. Oh, what do we have here? Dark chocolate goji with raspberry. Some Stafford Gourmet coffee. Oh, this will come in handy for the RV. Great stuff. The good stuff. This really is the best I've noticed. I've used the cheap junk before, and it just doesn't spray the same. It doesn't expand the same. The great stuff seems to be the best. And I've talked to a construction friend of mine who uh, he says the same thing Let's see what we have here it's almost like Christmas this box here what do we have here oh it's from Ikea a mirror with the uh, accordion type adjustment and that baby wants to get in that box looks like we got something here for baby we'll get to it interesting zote zote baby cat Soap. It says safe for delicate clothes. High quality laundry soap. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, 
Oh, there's something for the baby cat. Nine lives. There's something for the baby. Put that there so you can keep yourself occupied. Oh, nice. D batteries. Can you zoom in my big lantern? Thank you. I hope there's a note in here so I know who this is from. Let's see, we have here Colombian green coffee beans. Looks like it was sealed at the shop. My baby's so curious here. Wow, chicken noodle soup mix. This is like an incredible package. There's something for the baby. Look at this baby cat. There's a cat bed for baby. It's huge. Come here, baby cat. Yeah, well check this out. Huh? It's for you. No, she wants to be up in the box. There's a nice box of, nice big box of screws. Good stuff. Oh, good. Some real cleaning gloves. Latex gloves. No more Dallas Star junk that keeps falling apart on me. RV Goop. Nice. That's something I use a lot in a motorhome and campers. Electrical tape. Actually, I use it in my vehicles a lot. Let's see what we have here. Oh, there's the magic eraser. The real deal. Baby cat. She wants to be involved in the video. Here's some cable ties. Always useful. And we have here some 12 filter masks. Somebody's definitely watching my videos <laughs> for that, those cleaning jobs. Ah, steel wool for filling the gaps for the mice. Well, this is going to be useful. Battery operated O2 cool. That's like the name in battery powered fans. Hmm. Interesting. Just hang it up insect repellent. Mosquito repeller. Just curious. This I'll have to open up to see. It looks like a storage box from the photo here. Definitely an IKEA design. They always have these odd names on things. So there's another. Probably going to be very useful in my RV. Let's see what we have here. Here is a Ozark Trail. It's got to be Walmart. Lantern. That's what the D batteries are for. I'll be firing that up tonight. That'll be good for outdoors too. It's so dark out there. Nice. And, well, that's a nice heavy duty pan. There's a nice little, uh, nice heavy pan. Very good. Well, I don't see a note in here. Oh, one last thing. Oh, nice. 
I don't know if that'll get on the uh, camera. With God, all things are possible. Well, I don't see a note in here, so I'm going to have to look up who this was. If I find out who you are, I'll, I'll thank you publicly later, but this is amazing. Thank you so much. And the baby cat's going to thank you when she's done. She's a little irritable from the heat, but she'll be thanking you. Well, thank you so much. Somebody's definitely watching my videos. I think I know why a baby cat was irritable. Maybe you want a box? Huh? You want the box? There she goes. That's why she was mad at me. Now the baby's happy. That was just too large. I had to do it on the table. And the baby's not allowed on the table. She wanted to be involved in that box. <laughs> there she's happy now. Look at that. A baby cat in a box. I don't get it, but it makes her happy. Say hi, baby. Now there's the ultimate in happiness right there. Well, I mentioned a minute ago in the opening the box, the heat in the baby's irritable. The reason is, um, my air conditioner is not running. You see, well, there's only 1.8 watts. My right now, the only thing going is my TV is on standby and the bug zapper outside and I'm using a total of 1.8 watts that's not bad at all honestly it could run forever on that now my the sun is down I'm getting 28 watts from the solar panels which is nothing my batteries are sitting at 12.7 volts and I have a problem I'm not sure what's wrong here but check this out I can turn on my air conditioner. It was running all afternoon, fine and happy. When the sun went down, though, I can turn on the fan, and that runs. And I cannot figure out what's wrong, except for maybe there's just not enough power going to the batteries. But that doesn't make sense. I have 600 amp hours. I have over 600 amp hours of juice. But when I turn on the air conditioner, everything goes off. Power out. The inverter kicks everything off. I am going to have to wait until tomorrow when the sun comes back up and see what's going on. But I'm sweating again because I kept this on low. All I did is I kept it at 80 degrees in here and I was just taking out the humidity. It was doing a very nice job. But as soon as this kicks off I start to sweat again. So one thing I can do is fire up the generator and run the power cord outside just temporarily and see what happens here. I think I'm going to have to try that right now. See what's going on here. Because either the AC unit is compressor is froze up suddenly on me or there's just not enough power after the sun is down, which I find again hard to believe because I still have full batteries. Well, I've got, this thing was off. I mean, totally off. It shut itself completely off. I don't understand why. Earlier today, what it was doing is this light was would blinking. AC, load testing AC output normal. That what light would blink. And actually, there's no output while that's blinking. There's no power at all. You can see the watt meter, the kilowatt meter is off until that light stops blinking and then everything will reset and everything resets 
And it killed it off. Or I'm thinking that it's got a low battery voltage that's too sensitive. I'm going to have to see if there's adjustments on my inverter because it kicks the load at about 12.5 volts and my batteries are still full at that voltage. So actually I'm going to refocus this on the inverter or the charge controller and try it again. Now this is funny because I cannot see this. So I'm going to have to record it and look at it myself later. Okay, there I've turned on just the fan of the air conditioner and it's running. Now I'm going to try turning on the AC compressor. And I don't know. Oh, I hope that stayed on. That's a bummer. I don't know if, now I don't know if that went dark. I don't know if you could see the voltage and what happened. But, it's off. The inverter is absolutely, totally off. I don't know what's going on. It's got to be set at a low power battery voltage. I'm going to have to try this experiment again with keeping this light on. have to figure this out. Try this one more time. I'm going to shut this down for a minute. Alright, I'm going to try this again. Everything's on. I want to watch this voltage right here. 12.8 volts right now. I want to turn on the air conditioner and see what happens. Alright, now the fan is on. 12.7 volts. Everything's good. There. I have no idea what just happened with the voltage. I'm going to have to see that on camera later. Turned on the air conditioner to cool and the inverter shuts down. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, I just don't know. I sure hope the AC unit isn't broke because it took me uh, about a week to find one. Well, I had to open this up and see what this is. These are square boxes. You open it and then they zip to make a box so they're ultra light and portable which makes them perfect for RV use everything in an RV has to be super light I'm thinking about over on the other side of my RV in that other bed area so there's two each there's two large Two small, and two mediums of these storage boxes. I don't know if you can see them well with the black on black. I was actually just thinking about this bedding. <laughs> now I'm actually very anxious and excited to get into my motorhome even more so. This is uh, this and the mattress protector, which I know a lot of people were concerned about my health with the mattress. I do believe the mattress is going to be fine, but this is going to make it even that much better. That's perfect. But this matches my new paint colors. This is uh, a green pattern. It's very good. It's going to look so good in there when I'm done. Oh, well, special thank you and a shout out to K7AGE who sent me the Ham Radio License Preparation Handbook. Now that I know who you are, sorry about that. Uh, uh, heat exhaustion, I'll blame it on that. Thank you very much.